Yovalim Jubilees 24. And it came to pass after the death of Avraham that Yahuwah blessed Yitshak his son. And he arose from Kevran and went and dwelt at the well of the vision in the first year of the third week of this jubilee, seven years. And in the first year of the fourth week, a famine began in the land besides the first famine, which had been in the days of Avraham. And Yaakov sawed lentil pottage, and Esau came from the field hungry. And he said to Yaakov, his brother, Give me of this red pottage. And Yaakov said to him, Sell to me your prama gentir, this birthright, and I will give you bread, and also some of this lentil pottage. And Esau said in his heart, I shall die of I, I shall die of what profit to me is this birthright? And he said to Yaakov, I give it to you. And Yaakov said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him. And Yaakov gave his brother Esau bread and pottage, and he ate till he was satisfied, and Esau despised his birthright. For this reason was Esau's name called Edom, on account of the red pottage which Yaakov gave him for his birthright. And Yaakov became the elder, and Esau was brought down from his dignity. And the famine was over the land, and Yitzhak departed to go down into Mitzrayim in the second year of this week, and went to the king of the Pelishtim, to Gerar, unto Avimelech. And Yahuwah appeared unto him and said unto him, Go not down into Mitzrayim, dwell in the land that I shall tell you of, and sojourn in this land, and I will be with you and bless you. For to you and to your seed will I give all this land, and I will establish my oath, which I swore unto Avraham your father. And I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and will give unto your seed all this land. And in your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because your father obeyed my voice, and kept my charge, and my commandments, and my Torah, and my ordinances, and my covenant, and now obey my voice, and dwell in this land. And he dwelt in Gerar three weeks of years, and Avimelech charged concerning him, and concerning all that was his, saying, Any man that shall touch him or anything that is his shall surely die. And Yitzhak waxed strong among, among the Peleshitim, and he got many possessions, oxen and sheep and camels and asses and a great household. And he sowed in the land of the Peleshitim and brought in a hundredfold. And Yitzhak became exceedingly great, and the Peleshitim envied him. Now all the wells which the servants of Avraham had dug during the life of Avraham, the Peleshitim had stopped them after the death of Avraham and filled them with earth. And Avimelech said unto Yitzhak, Go from us, for you are much mightier than we. And Yitzhak departed thence in the first year of the seventh week, and sojourned in the valley of Gerar. And they dug again the wells of water which the servants of Avraham his father had dug, and which the Peleshitim had closed after the death of Avraham his father. And he called their names as Avraham his father had named them. And the servants of Yitzhak 
dug a well in the valley and found living water. And the shepherds of Gerar strove with the shepherds of Yitzhak, saying, The water is ours. And Yitzhak called the name of the well Perversity, because they had been perverse with us. And they dug a second well, and they strove for that also. And he called its name Enmity. And he arose from thence, and they dug another well, and for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Room. And Yitzhak said, Now Yahuwah has made room for us, and we have increased in the land. And he went up from thence to the well of the oath in the first year of the first week, in the forty-fourth jubilee. And Yahuwah appeared to him that night on the new moon of the first month, and said unto him, I am the Elohim of Abraham, your father. Fear not, for I am with you, and shall bless you, and shall surely multiply your seed as the sand of the earth, for the sake of Abraham, my servant. And he built an altar there, which Abraham, his father, had first built, and he called upon the name of Yahuwah, and he offered sacrifice to the Elohim of Avraham, his father. And they dug a well, and they found living water. And the servants of Yitzhak dug another well, and did not find water. And they went and told Yitzhak that they had not found water. And Yitzhak said, I have sworn this day to the Peleshitim, and this thing has been announced to us. And he called the name of that place, the Well of the Oath, for there he had sworn to Avimelech and Akuzat, his friend, and Pikal, the perfect Or, his host. And Yitzhak knew that day that under constraint he had sworn to them to make peace with them. And Yitzhak on that day cursed the Peleshitim and said, Cursed be the Peleshitim unto the day of wrath and indignation from the midst of all nations. May Elohim make them a derision and a curse and an object of wrath and indignation in the hands of the sinners, the other nations, and in the hands of the Kittim. And whosoever escapes the sword of the enemy and the Kittim, may the righteous nation root out in judgment from under heaven. For they shall be the enemies and foes of my children throughout their generations upon the earth, and no remnant shall be left to them, nor one that shall be saved on the day of the wrath of judgment, for destruction and rooting out and expulsion from the earth is the whole seed of the Peleshitim, reserved. And there shall no longer be left for these Kaftarim a name or a seed on the earth. For though he ascend unto heaven, thence shall he be brought down and though he make himself strong on earth, thence shall he be dragged forth. And though he hide himself amongst the nations, even from thence shall he be rooted out. And though he descend into Sheol, there also shall his condemnation be great. And there also he shall have no peace. And if he go into captivity, by the hands of those that seek his life shall they slay him on the way. And neither name nor seed shall be left to him on all the earth. For into eternal maldiction shall he depart. And thus it is written and engraved concerning him on the heavenly tablets to do unto him on the day of judgment so that he may be rooted out of the earth.